In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to effectively farm Killer and the easiest ways to kill him in the current patch. So, with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so, first we're going to talk about weapons. So, when I hunt Killer, I tend to only use two weapons. So, I either use the SVD or I use the Ash-12. Now, Ash-12 is heavily dependent on if i have a stock of ps12b which luckily right now we've got a decent amount of ps12b so this is probably the gun that i would prefer to run whilst doing the tracksuit farming now the svd you're only gonna want two ammo types now if you can get your hands on bs then run bs but if you can't get your hands on bs you're gonna need to run bt now, BT is one of the ammo types that at the moment sells out really, really fast. So you're going to need to buy it the second the trader resets. I mean, we've got two hours left on proper and it's completely sold the whole stock. So you're going to need to be able to start stockpiling some of these good ammos. Um, if you don't already know, uh, PS12B for the Ash-12. So this ammo type here, it's only obtainable through found in raid or the craft. Now... I'll probably put on screen now uh, what quest unlocks your craft for PS12B and the same with the unlock of BT and BS. So let's talk about armor. Now, something that people don't realize is when you're doing killer farming, you don't want to be running really, really good stuff. Now, obviously, he's a powerful boss. He will absolutely beam you. But regardless if you're running class four or class six, you're going to get absolutely destroyed if he locks onto you. Now, Something I will say is the reason why we run what's called the Rat Rig or 6B3TM. Now, this armor is very cheap. It's 70k from Ragman and it resets quite frequently. You can also pick them up on the market for pretty cheap. If I run out of these, I just tend to run Packer and I'll just run Packer armor for the whole time. But if not, then yeah. Now, the reason you want attack rig is because when you kill Killer, he's going to obviously have his Killer armor, his Killer helmet. And all of the rest of his stuff now it's just quicker to be able to just to cycle it all off without having to throw off all your armor and everything it's just a little bit quicker and sometimes it does save your life so all this being said we're going to go into a live raid and see if he spawns okay so we are in raid now something that a lot of people don't actually know there is currently a bug within tarkov that allows you to know if the boss actually has spawned now you'll notice in the timer in the top right hand corner at about 37 seconds on the right hand side you will notice if you see the ping in the top right hand corner of your screen it means that the boss has not spawned so in our case he actually has spawned so we can go and check where he is now funnily enough this is actually first take uh <laughs> i didn't realize he would spawn um so yeah something to note uh killer and bosses have had a slight change uh, in this patch so one of the things that they've changed is um you will notice that with the bosses now they don't react to flashbangs anymore so if you were to throw a flashbang at killer or you throw them at the goons they no longer react they only react to grenades they have to react to something that now is a hostile is a hostile artillery so you can't throw anything like flashbangs it just lets you won't do anything now so i'm gonna show you the killer spawns i'm actually gonna do it reverse because we're in a pretty bad spot and um, just bear in mind you are running through the center so i'm running through the center right now uh sorry i'm gonna have to deal with you scouts okay so we're gonna run up middle now this is a bit of a dodgy way to run up I'll be honest, but I think he will have been in sushi. Yeah, he is. So we've thrown the nade. Okay, we've thrown the nade. Now, we know killer is on the right hand side so i'm gonna throw another nade hopefully that bounced out yep now i can hear someone 
rotating inside. So there you go. So killer is dead. We've just domed him in the back of the head. So killer spawns in multiple places. Now, killer can spawn in the whole back stores over there. So you can spawn in any of the stores over Tardux and beyond. Um, he has a spawn right here behind the counter. He also has a spawn on this corner here. Also, be careful of this spawn. He sometimes, there is a bug with him where he will aggro, run out, and he will peek down that corridor. So be careful of that. Uh, I've had it happen a few times while I was doing killer farming. He also spawns in this bit here. He spawns in this section here. He can spawn in this corridor, like in this spot here, which you saw. He might have ran off because I aggroed him with a nade, so you can bear that in mind. So we're actually going to go check his pockets. So this is what I was saying about the thing. We can just throw off all the stuff, throw on his armor, throw on his stuff like this. And now we can check for a key card. I'm really hoping we get one. That'd be absolutely lovely. I don't think we did. So now we can throw on we can throw on his rig. He usually spawns with an RPK. He can spawn with a PP19. Uh, many other things. But there's not really a point of taking flashbangs anymore. Because again, he doesn't aggro them. Now, the, the most common spawns I've seen him spawn is in this sushi area. Now, he also does spawn... On the outside here, he can spawn on this wall. He can spawn in the center. I've seen him here before. I've seen him in Papillon. Um, but the easiest way to do is just throw a few grenades and you'll be able to hear exactly where he is. Now, there's also spawns in the back of this area. So make sure you check these. Um, I've seen him here before. But the thing is with his nades, he has a very, very high proximity of where he can hear his nades and he will aggro them from pretty far away. So if you just throw a nade up, I usually tend to throw the nade up the center uh, and do it slightly more towards sushi because the sushi spawns are a little bit further back. Now, if you throw that nade, you will hear if he is on left or right. Once you hear the left or right, you then just need to work out exactly where he is. So that's why you got that second nade. You throw the second nade, get the sound cue, and then you go around and you peek him. Now, the best tip to fighting killer, he is an aggressive boss. You notice when I was fighting him, he was spraying the wall. Well, he will spray the wall. Eventually, he will stop shooting. The second he stops shooting and starts moving... Stop that to scatter. Um, the second he stops moving, shot out by PMCs. Just, but yeah, so the second he stops moving, you want, the second he stops shooting and starts pushing at you, you want to peek him then. Now, Obviously, we just died to PMC. This will happen. Uh, people will also listen out to if they hear nades going off. They will sometimes go and have a quick look at Bagless, which is where you will be going. So yeah, basically, that is how I do the farm uh, every every raid. Obviously, the indicator right now is a very, very big thing. Um, it basically tells you if he spawns every raid or not. Um, and it's so useful to get the killer farm done. But that is basically it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Um, and I hope you guys can have some good luck whilst trying to farm killer. And hopefully you can get your tracksuit. So yeah. If you guys don't already know, I stream five days a week on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Soms. Come check me out. I'm live all the time. I'm helping new players. We're doing a lot of other stuff. But yeah. So. I will catch everybody in the next video and I hope everyone has an amazing rest of your day. Goodbye guys.